has that uh, that rectangle shape when you're looking down from from above. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today, I am in Nashville, Tennessee. I am super excited because we drove all the way out here. We are going to be out here for seven days. And it's so exciting because we are actually pulling 17 cars out of the river. We're actually going to be having a big convention after we do all this. It's going to be an amazing experience for you guys to see. But today, we have one purpose, and that is to find Bill Simmons. We actually are conducting a search right now. We have multiple sonar systems, multiple boats out in the water searching right now to see if we can bring both resolution and closure for this family. It's very humbling for me to be able to have a part in this, and I'm super excited to actually test out my new dry suit that I just got. There's actually a news station that is coming over here and they're gonna interview Jared with Adventures With Purpose. If you'd like to check his channel out, I'll have a link in the description below. This is just such an amazing opportunity and I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me. So with that said, let's get to it. So yeah, we got all types of people showing up, man. Built. This nope, is built. so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the guy with the jacket and the red shirt, that's Jared. Sam's beside him, wave Sam. Sam, Sam the adventure man. Dan the cameraman. In green, you're gonna be the guy in green today. Rock to rock. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm blanking out names. I'm so sorry. Am I doing it again? It's, it's Shane. <laughs> yes. no, no, no. Britton. Hey, yes. Dennis and Tammy. I gotta thank them. So, so, sorry. Sorry. so this is our crew today. Uh, what and probably for most of um, Sam and I did a case with Team Y'all here last year. All week. It was focused on a. Uh -huh, through the 25th. Um, so we're doing what y'all don't have the time most of the time to do. Yeah. So today we're going to be looking for um, Bill Simmons. You know Bill that's missing out from the Pennington Bend area? Are y'all familiar with him at all? Uh, he lives right around the corner and he went missing about June, I think it was June 25th, real late at night, early 16th in the morning, right in that area. And uh, he's just went through a lot. Um, had neuropathy and pain in his feet, so he was going on retirement from Beeman Automotive. Just pressures of depression. He lost his mom the year before and just it was really hard. We're not sure exactly I know, we're doing your, I know we're doing. I know we're here, and, and I, I know you're doing. We're doing the air bottles, uh, refilling yes, air bottles. Yes, we're doing whenever the air bottles. You, whenever, you, whenever you need that, do that every morning right now at nine. Okay. So that's how you're gonna set it up. They're all parking their gear over there. Okay. So we're just gonna do the refills at nine over there. So we'll have an air truck there at nine. Over yeah. Eight lock. Eight lock. What are the what are the hooks? I mean, obviously that was drag. Yeah. So that was driving. Or be, for all these bodies of water that we can't get a regular boat into, we just drag that right on in. In fact, uh, I'm no. getting in the market. In fact, I've got 24 boats that are showing up before I get back from this trip. Jared, Jared. Welcome back, Brent. <laughs> it is great to see you in Tennessee, not in Georgia. You know what I am so excited for today <laughs> is for you. This is about you today, is that by the time people see this, you will be way past 100,000, but right now you're at 99,000. Yes. Like 100 and like 37, 8, 9, 40, somewhere in there. You have 160 yes. more to go or so, somewhere yes. in there. It might somewhere be. in there. I, I do a lot of school like... math. <laughs> yeah, so congratulations for that. Thank Thanks you so for much. Being back. And with today's mission, Let's see if we can find Bill Simmons. Let's see if we can find Bill, man. Yeah, that's what it's about. Uh, yes. Everybody coming together. So Most thanks definitely. for being here. Getting ready. Dry suits ready. Get dry suits ready. Well, first we're gonna do some sonar. Yes. See what we can spot, mark some things, and after that we'll get dressed. So sonar first, then <laughs> then uh, put on the super suits. Very cool. Awesome, man. Because through all of this, I can don't have anybody to tell me I know how you feel. Right. So it's really and going to be a movement yes, for you for me, this, and a new purpose for you. Yes, this because, is because not Bill's only, legacy. Yeah, I feel. Because not only have you lost Bill, that we're still, you we're here looking for. I mean, we have. We'll get to everybody in a few minutes. It's as to amazing. how many. I don't even know how many teams we have here today. It's amazing. But not only have you lost Bill, but you just recently lost your mother as well. Because she, yeah. she was down here last time. Mm -hmm. She was your rock. Please tell us a little bit more about the mom. Um, she's been my rock my entire life. And after my dad was gone, it was, you know, the two of us were just... And she's been with me through this whole thing with Bill. And she's kept me semi-sane. And she was fine that day. And um, she stopped breathing. And she passed away. She lived for four days. 
Well, Mike was keeping us updated yeah. on that one. In fact, Mike, Mike, why don't you come on in here with us, and uh, let me introduce you to Mike Bishop. Morning, I was flipping through Facebook, and that video popped up. Very first video I'd ever seen of yours, and uh, it was here at Lock Two, which this neighborhood right back here I lived, I lived in for 13 years. So something told me to reach out, and I know the water here, I know the area, and. Uh, so that's when I reached out to you and we got connected and it's just gone from there. Yeah. And, and so we have multiple divers that, you know, and people so are that now come together, not just today, but as well as, you know, Mike's been working with you and I mean, they've been on the water doing the searches. Yeah. And so far, I mean, we've not yet found Bill, but I think that we'll continue and I think that, you know, we have, we're very hopeful and being able to find them for you. And, and part of that, you know, one is, you know, Mike being from the area here has done incredible, you know, research already as yeah. to where. But a few of the things that we've also learned is even though an area has been searched once or twice by one group, it's good to go back in with another group because, you know, we've been in our own experience to where we've covered an area where this has been covered twice before and we found somebody. With the boats that we have today, I think we'll focus on the river mainly. Just cover it up. And, and check everywhere um, but we know obviously they live two minutes from here so this would have been the first opportunistic place to go we know the ties to two rivers lake because it's next to the golf course that he when he had the ability to still do that and then going through his phone records and knowing what he did for a job he drove vehicles to get him through drive cycles for being and his place of work was right off the interstate so he could easily jump on the interstate put it on cruise control and head out to his favorite spot which was Nashville Shores um, so I want to on our other search days I want to cover that up and just make sure that we leave no no stone unturned so to speak oh I can I can get the laptop and show you here in person but you saw on the video what to look for on a new car because believe it or not when a car first goes in the water it's very hard to see on sonar because it's slick and smooth. The sonar wants to hit it and skip off and it gives this weird looking flash, but no car and, and, and this weird shadow behind it. If you see that, you have to cursor over to it and, and dead center over top of that. And if it's a car, you'll tell. It, it'll show up. The only way you're going to see it is if you dead center the roof of it. That's the best picture you're going to get of a fresh car. Uh, after it's been out there a while, can't miss a car. It gets silt and algae on it and then it shows up. I mean, it's, it's very detailed. We have a big event coming up on the 23rd. We have 17 vehicles that we're pulling on the 22nd, or 21st and 22nd at one location. What else can you guys find? This is, you're here to make content. Pull a car, Brett, okay? <laughs> We got room. Yeah. <laughs> Where, yeah, so we have plenty of tow trucks. Wherever you guys need the help, just let us know. We've got plenty of rigging and, and everything else. So whatever you need from me, this is not a, this is Jared's stuff. This is a, whatever you need, this is our stuff. We just followed Mike Bishop to this location. We're going to go out here and run some sonar. Um, if there's a vehicle down there, we should find it. Very um, cool. So, you know, the whole message or the whole thing today is to try to bring uh, Bill Simmons home, and that's what we're here to do. So everybody who is here today knows that we are in Nashville, Tennessee. We are currently on the search for Bill Simmons. We're actually going to be near uh, a place where Bill's phone actually pinged, uh, I think they said 81 times. 81 times it pinged in this area. So we're going to begin our search here. Uh, expand outward a little bit, but I'm hoping today that we can bring resolution for Bill's family. We've also got our scuba tanks, all the scuba gear is set up over here. I've got my Octo mask, so anytime I go under the water to see what's down there, you guys are going to be getting a first person glance through this. I've got Jeremy with me, and uh, we're going to be on a boat together in search for Bill. So they're taking their boat with their sonar system. All right, so we just got on the boat. We are actually heading out to a favorite spot of Bill's where his phone pinged actually 81 times. I've got Jeremy right in front of me. Yeah. What do you think about this, man? It'll be fun. This is definitely a new experience. I hope we find some. Yeah, I hope we find something too, so get some answers. And Mike, what do you think about this particular location? Uh, I think it's a very, very high probability for Bill to be here. 
uh, just knowing that he came here almost every day at, at work or when he was working. Um, he was literally here with his family the weekend before he disappeared. So wow. it's a very, very high probability that he's out here. I'm just Goodness. overwhelmed with the support we have with uh, yes. with with all the divers and you, you know him, right? having having multiple boats out scanning right now. It's just it blows my mind. It's really cool. It's incredible. We're pulling Mike, up on Sam. Yeah, Mike. I don't know if it's a compliment or an insult, but from a distance, you look like Jared, man. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. So I said, oh man, they got Jared. I'm a, I'm a talker like him too. Yeah, so, so would that be a compliment or an insult? You can go both ways. Alright, I think that's 50-50 there. So long, Sam. Alright, brother. So, oh, so yeah, in all seriousness, though, we're having a great time and there'll be a little bit of laughter here. But man, I really hope we're successful today. Yes, I hope so too. So Jeremy's also got the magnet right there. You guys can see it. We're going to be actually throwing that down to see if we can see if anything's metal uh, that we get on the sonar. Put the yeah. negative cable on there. <laughs> I guess it would help if we had power. <laughs> now, here we go. Do, 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 do. Get this thing fired up and uh, we'll see what our depth is. We'll see. I don't know if, if he's got this thing set up the way he usually does, but... So All right, so Sam is telling yeah. me. So we'll go back out, turn around, see if we can hit that again. Totally looked like a car. Totally looked like a car. Yeah, sorry. Right. Wow. It, I saw it on the live stream. It's only sitting in about 20 feet of water. Um, we're running two uh, different types of sonar right now. Let's see if we can hit that again. Yeah. Wow. Right, you can kind of see right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so right there, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, actually, it's like it's probably a wheel, wheel, and then a. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, you can see it. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm looking at right now. Wow. So I'm going to pass this back over to Britain. Yeah, we got the square shape. Yeah. Yeah. Let me try to figure out how to find it. Yeah, so we got a point of interest right here. I'm seeing a car. Yeah, man. Bryson and I uh, scanned that. Actually, Mark was here as well. Um, and we dove that the very same day. And we have cleared that vehicle. And if you look closely, you'll actually see a boat not far from it. Okay, so it's cleared already? All right. Well, let's, uh, we'll keep it on the map if we need to pull it later. Yeah. Yay, huh. sonar skills. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright. All right. Not terrific visibility, but it should be alright. Alright, so we have located what we think is two cars. Mm -hmm. And ah. Sam's currently got the buoy, which we are going to hook on to the string. Yep and leave towards the bottom so that we can go check out the cars and make sure that on it. yeah <laughs> so now that we're going to set this uh, buoy up as a tag line and then they can dive they can dive right down this line here and get right on the car nice without even searching or looking <laughs> just smooth and easy sweet okay, Britain, that's how we like it yeah i'm gonna have you hold this here Britain. Awesome. totally see we got the one car two cars this here might be a third or it might just be a chopped up the way the sonar went very cool and you may see this down here Looking down at one of them. <laughs> so guys, before I end this video, I just wanted to mention that I have a link in the description for Bill Simmons' family. All the proceeds are actually going to Bill Simmons' family and any bit of help I'm sure they would definitely appreciate. I first off want to thank Jared with Adventures with Purpose. Since filming this video, about six days later, they were actually able to find Bill and they had a candlelight Virgil for him and I will have that linked in the description as well for you guys to check out. But it was amazing to be a part of this movement and that's what's crazy is the scuba diving community is so tight knit and it was really cool to see everybody you know come together and help with this search so my regards go out to Bill Simmons family um, I'm really glad that we were able to bring resolution for them. I'm also going to have linked below all the channels that helped with the search for Bill Simmons. There were a lot of people that just stepped in and helped with sonar and a ton of different people on different boats that I didn't even mention in today's video that I think should have been mentioned. So definitely check them out. I will have them linked in the description below. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and we'll see you guys on the next one.